Okay, guys, so <clears throat> today we had um, snow and ice earlier, and this, what's, this is what was on my car this evening. It's very thick ice underneath that snow, um, and so I decided to try a new technique to get it off, and this is what I did. So you take some hot water from the kettle make sure it is not boiling but it must be just before boiling it must be quite hot water okay but not boiling and put it into a sealed sandwich bag once outside place it on the windscreen now depending on the thickness of your eyes and the hotness of your water you might be able to go fast up and down or slow now mine's very thick ice it's not frost I mean if this if this was frost it'd come off straight away but have a good look you can see the ice under there but it's still doing the job it's just that I had to go a bit slowly and hold it on if you did this in the morning on a frosty car it would come straight off and this is the windscreen I'm just testing it on here and like I say it's thick ice it takes a fair bit but that ice there now once I've gone over it is loose you can see it look all melted you can just if you've got one of those um, tools for scraping you can see the ice all dripping down the screen you can just scrape that off now it'll just fall off or put your wipers on it'll just fall off and then what I do I test it on my back screen after this here I am at the back of the car just showing you the ice is stuck to the window proper like welded on and this is the same bag I used at the front so it's now colder because obviously the heat's gone out of it from the front window now if you watch through the bag you can see the snow and ice underneath melting so that's a good technique is put it on your window and watch as it melts watch through the plastic and you'll actually see it melting away see once it's loose you don't need to get every bit off once it's you can leave it like that that ice is all loose now it'll either just fall off itself or put the wipers on and, and bear in mind this is thick ice and snow it's not frost if this was frost it'd be done by now so this is a way you can do it without chemicals without scraping without anything sharp without damaging your windscreen or paintwork and then I just carry on to test it out on the back window for a while um, I hope this helps you out guys anyway you know perhaps have a go yourselves with the frost in the morning use hot not boiling water put it in the kettle and you know when it starts to fizzle before it bubbles but starts to proper fizzle like it's just about to bubble that's the heat you want the heat that would be too hot for your hands really but not boiling because as you go the heat comes out of the bag but the bag still has enough heat in it after all this time after the front windscreen and now the back to still work so I think it's quite successful guys I won't waste your time keeping you here till I finish but um, yeah, I was able to get in the car, put the wipers on and leave. So uh, I was quite uh, surprised how well this worked. Hope that helps and catch you in the next one, guys.